Hi there. Welcome to this presentation on the Java 9 module system. In this presentation, we'll take a look at transitive dependencies. So if you recall from the previous presentation, we had a demo module and a messenger module. And what happened here was the demo module simply asked the messenger module for a message and printed out the message. So I'm going to extend this example. Now, if you have a really good messenger, they might be so kind as to tell you the time as well. So I'm going to use a timestamp here in the Java SQL package. So let's make it public static timestamp get time. And I'm going to simply return maybe the beginning of time. So timestamp at zero. And I'm going to go over to my main module here. I'm going to say messenger.getTime. Let's store this to a variable, call it time, and let's print out the time is colon time. So now, of course, since we're using a type from the java.sql package, we need to make the messenger depend on or require, rather, read the java.sql package or module. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say requires java.sql. So let's go ahead and compile this. So I'll say java c dash d mods dash dash module dash source dash path to be my source directory and compile the module com.messenger and com. So we get this error here that says package java.sql is not visible. Package java.sql is declared in module java.sql, but module com.demo does not read. So what happened here was our messenger module read the java.sql, but our main one did not. And it in fact used time stamp here that's from java.sql. So the messenger kind of gave it something it can't use. So one solution here is to go ahead and just depend on the on the Java SQL module from your main, from the com demo module. So I can say it requires java.sql. And if I go ahead and compile it, it should be fine. But that's not that great because now you kind of have to know beforehand the, what the messenger depends on. So it would be really nice if the messenger could say, I depend on the Java SQL module, but so should anyone that depends on me. I'm going to go ahead here, remove the Java SQL dependency. Let's recompile it to make sure it doesn't work. There you go. And I'm going to head on over here and I'm going to say requires transitive. That's a really descriptive keyword we have. Really nice. That will basically say, if you require me, you will also require the java.sql. So I'm going to go ahead here, recompile the code. Let's quickly make a jar out of it. So I'm going to make a messenger jar. Let me first make sure I've cleared the emlet directory. Sure. So let's make a messenger.jar, get the contents from the mods, com messenger, and then let's make a demo jar. So I'm going to say mlib demo.jar, and let's maybe give it a main class as well, com.demo.main, and get the contents from mods, com.demo. There you go, and let's run it sure everything is good. So java-p mlib-module-com.demo. And there you go, it successfully printed out the time. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. Bye.